Hello everyone, welcome back to Sudocoder. This is Ravina, and today we are going to solve problem number 19 that is remove nth node from the end of the list. So read, let's read the question here. It says given the head of a linked list, remove the nth node from the end of the list and return its head. So for example, this is the linked list and we have n equal to 2. That means that we have to delete the second node from the end. So fifth is the last node and then fourth would be the second last node and that is actually n equal to 2 if you count the number of nodes so 1 and 2 so we have to delete the second node from the right from the end and we have to do that and then uh, return the linked list which is change uh, the updated linked list so 1 2 3 and 5 so this linked list so let's see how we can uh, solve this we are going to take example of n equal to 2 now when n is equal to 2 it's remove nth node from the end of the list. That means this is the first node from end and this is the second node. So this is the nth node. So we have to delete four. Now, since this is a linked list and it goes in one direction, how will we count which is the nth node from the end? So there's a little trick to this. What we can do is we can maintain two pointers. We can have one pointer which starts from here and then increment it n equal to 2 plus 1 times. So we'll increment it 3 times. So what would happen is suppose this is f, which is the first pointer, we increment it 3 times. So 1, 2, and 3. And then we will have another pointer that also starts at the start. And let's call it the second pointer. Our First pointer is here, our second pointer is right here. Now what we will do is, now what's happened? Look at this. There's a gap between second and first. And how much is the gap? The gap is n equal to 2 plus 1. Actually, n plus, so n plus 1, sorry. So what will happen now? Now, if you see, as I progress my s, if my s comes here, my f, will also be progressed further. I'm going to write code so that my F and S both progress at the same time. And when I progress my S again, my F again progresses. And you'll see that it points now to null because there is nothing. So my F is pointing here and my S is pointing here. So you'll see that whenever my F is null, my S is at a position that is one step ahead of the number we want to delete. So see, we want to delete 4 and our S is pointing at 3. Similarly, we can take another example. So suppose we can take 1, 2 and 3. And now suppose N equal to 1. So we want to delete the first node from the end. So this node. I'll start my F from here. I'll increment it N plus 1 times. So 1 plus 1, 2. So 1 and 2. So my F is now here. I'll have my S starting from the, uh, starting from this so this is my second pointer so s and then i'll increment both pointers at the same time my f will my s will increment and come here my f at the same time will increment and come here and this is actually null now you see whenever my first pointer is null my s is actually one step uh, one step prior to what i want to delete and then the deletion becomes really simple because what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my s dot next updated to s dot next dot next. That means my pointer is now going to point here and it's going to delete this link. And that's what we want to do. Now, uh, let's see. Let's look at the first example again and see how we can actually do it. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. My n was 2 and I want to delete 4. Initially, my f was here. And since n is equal to 2, I'm going to increment my f pointer 3 times. n plus 1 times. So 2 plus 1, 3 times. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, my f is here. Now I have my s, which is my second pointer, starting right here. Remember, as I progress s, I should progress f. So my S comes here, my F will be here, my S comes here, and my F will be here. 
and now this is what this is actually null there is nothing there's nothing in uh, f dot next so that's null so now what i'll do is i'll delete this link and i'll point my three to directly five so i'll update my s dot next which is actually pointing right here to four i'll update it to s dot next dot next so what is s is next it's this thing and then what's this nodes next it's five so i'm updating my s dot next you mean this link to what s dot next dot next so i'm updating this link to point to node five and that is how we are going to solve this now let's see how we can convert this to code the thing that we are going to need is the root to keep track of the starting element since we have to return the starting element so my root is going to be list of node of zero and then i'm just going to store my head in my root dot next so my root dot next is going to be my head which is the input i need a first pointer so my first pointer is going to be root and then i also need my second pointer which is also going to be root then i need a for loop to advance my first pointer so it's going to be for i in range i need to do it n times so i'm going to write n plus one since it's python and the last part is last number is excluded so i'm going to just increment my first pointer so first is going to be first dot next once i have that i'll write another while loop you can also write a follow but it's really not needed so while first is not none while my first doesn't reach the end of the line since we have already created a gap now it will be my i'm going to just increment my first and then similarly i'm going to increment my second in the end i'm going to replace that link so my second dot next actually becomes second dot next dot next we are just skipping the element here and then in the end we just return root dot next so let's see if we can run it all right and then submit okay so it was accepted so let's talk about the space and time complexity of this particular algorithm uh, we are going through each and every node just once if you look at it we are going through going till n right here and then we are again going till n so we are actually taking o of n time now about the space complexity we are actually using a root that is going to store all the elements from the head and also an additional element which is list node of zero so the space complexity of this algorithm also becomes o of n so i hope this explanation was helpful if you like the videos give it a thumbs up comment below if you would like to see similar problems from uh, similar videos from my side please hit the subscribe button and the code of the code for this is going to be on my github repository so i'll include a link in the description below thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time